It's just out of our hands. Um, and, um, you know, we'll be just like everyone else sitting there watching on Sunday, and we hope for the best. Um, but, I, you know, it's just right now that's uh, you can take a piece of paper and pen and drive yourself crazy if you want to. And, uh, but it just boils down to, you know, uh, at the end of the day, is our body of work good enough? I think the Pac-10 has been grossly underrated all year. And I thought that at the start of the season, and my, my theory on that is this. And there were so many good players that went to the NBA last year out of this league, and everyone assumed the league would be down. But the Pac-10 is one of the leagues that just reloads. There were just names of kids that no one knew about. I mean, who knew Jordan Hill was going to be Jordan Hill this year? Uh, the step he'd made. Um, and you've got new faces coming in all, all the time that are great players. So uh, I just think that uh, the league was a little underrated when it started, yet – you know, I think uh, some of the wins we have are, are very big. We've beaten four conference champions. And, um, and uh, so, you know, if, if, they're, if they're looking at that and the, the quality of wins, I, I think that we stack up with most people. If you ask me, do I believe is Arizona uh, one of the best 65 teams in the country, I think that's obviously yes. Uh, you don't need me to tell you that. Um, the committee has a very difficult job. I couldn't imagine trying to discern uh, between some teams. It depends on what number you want to look at the hardest probably in many cases. But they're a talented team. Uh, they've done an outstanding job under a, what I'm, I'm assuming has been very challenging circumstances. Well, last year we were kind of in the same situation and um, you know, sitting there on Sunday last year and seeing our team come up at the very end was <laughs> very stressful. But um, you know, it does kind of feel like the same thing. We're going to be practicing, watching film, um, you know, just, just keep on playing the season. Um, you know, we're, we're just going to try to get better as a team, um, you know, forget about the past and look forward and, you know, whatever happens on Sunday, whatever happens. We'll obviously, uh, you know, see scores and I, I love college basketball, so I'll be watching games. But, um, you know, again, you can uh, – you can write out a lot of different scenarios, and since we're not in that room making those decisions, we're not sure all the criteria that it takes to get in. The good part is this. We, we've had a fantastic year, and we love playing together. We really do. And and we'd like to make the NCAA tournament, but we'd be honored just to play in postseason play. And, uh, you know, I hope it's in that tournament, but if not, hopefully the NIT will, you know, give us a crack and we can keep playing. And uh, this group of guys have come a long way in this year, and they're, and they're really together, and they like one another, and they like playing. So I guess from that standpoint, there's a lot of folks today that, you know, are packing up the uniforms. At least we get to wash ours and put them back on again.